guys, my name is Lauren and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be decorating my front porch for fall. I lay my corn stalks down side by side to compare their height and fullness. And I'm also going to be decorating my front porch with mums, pansies, and pumpkins. You can never have too many pumpkins, right? <laughs> I'm going to start by laying the corn stalks down in front of each pole. To secure the corn stalks to the poles, I'm using the 14 inch white zip ties and doing that I connect three of them so they're long enough to reach around the pole and the corn stalk. I usually try to tie the zip tie a little within the corn stalk so you can't see it from the front. And as you can see, I have to secure them because they will fall down. excuse my almost dead marigolds in my front flower bed. I always um, plant pansies in the fall, which you'll see later on in the video. After checking the corn stalks to make sure they were secure against the poles, I took some scissors and cut off the extra strand of the zip tie. You can tuck it in on this side, but for a cleaner look, I like to cut it off. I found these beautiful large mums at Walmart. And I thought I had potting soil, but ac I actually did not. So instead of planting them, I just put them in my black pots and they'll be okay if I keep them watered good. I've had ferns in them before planted and they were really hard to get out. So an easy trick. Hit you with the text on XO. My ace boom boom, no flex no. I won't gas you up like Petro. Just trying to take you way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours. I told you that. Work now, play later. Yes, I am that crazy lady who has tons of pumpkins on her front porch. And what is it about the ugly pumpkins that draw me towards them? <laughs> I got these mums from Home Depot, and I know one of them looks a little sad, but I think I can bring it back to life. These baskets are from Walmart, and I think they were $5 a piece. I thought they were super cute. This light orange medium pumpkin, I actually had to throw it away. Um, I tried to make it work, but it was actually going bad. And if any of you have ever had to clean up a rotting pumpkin off of your front porch, it is not fun. So I tried to make it work, but I decided it would probably be best to just throw it away now.
And every time that you walk through the door, I'm hit by the same old tide, blinded by the lights, and I'm going through changes. But it's so to take things up a notch, I got these $10 LED lights from Target. I've seen this on Pinterest before and I've always wanted to do this, so I thought, why not? I'm gonna do it this year, make my front porch look extra cute. So on this afternoon, it actually got pretty toasty outside, even though it was like five o'clock, so my hair definitely went up on my head. Um, these LED lights, they took three AA batteries and as you can see, I am just weaving them in and out of the pumpkins, trying to secure them on the bottom. The LED lights are actually indoor lights, but I thought I'd give it a try and see how they do outside. Um, I'm actually recording this video the next day and they did fine overnight. It actually rained a little bit too and they still work, battery operated and everything. be a weekend lover yeah i'ma be the best damn lover you got i wanna mess up your covers These little pumpkins I got from Walmart and they were a dollar and ninety-eight cents a piece. For Halloween, I thought I would add these witch hats. Not gonna lie, I had no idea how to do this, but I bought some fishing line, some safety pins, and some command strips. So I cut a little hole at the top of the hat, then I took the fishing line and tied that to the end of the safety pin. After tying the string and cutting it, I took the safety pin and fed it through the hole at the top of the hat and I pulled the hat inside out as you'll see and I secured it to the hat so on the outside you can't really tell. I'm not sure if there was a better way to do this but in the end I feel like it worked out pretty well. Uh, my only fail with doing this is the command strips that I bought, I don't know why, they were clear, but I bought the very small ones. So when I try to secure them to the metal wrap, you'll see that later on in the video, they did not stick, of course. And consider the wind and the hats, it's not going to be secure. So if you 
do this, I recommend buying bigger, more heavy duty command strips. I ended up hanging the witch hats to the metal wrap on my front porch and I apologize for the quality of the video it did start to get dark out but look at those LED lights this was actually the next morning and I wanted to show you the right command strip that I used it was actually the weight of half a pound um, I'm just securing it tying it I think I tied it like three times to make sure it was nice and sturdy and this one seemed to work out a lot better this was the perfect morning to get outside and get in the garden I ripped up the marigolds and planted my pansies and I actually do this every year in October the pansies love the cold weather here in Virginia and they're a really hardy plant My wreath on my front door is from Michael's a few years ago along with the welcome pumpkin sign and the Salem sign I got at the Target $1 section this year. I think it was like $5. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it gives you some ideas for decorating your front porch for fall. If you guys enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos and I'll see you in the next one.